Hello everyone, this is Not From This World and welcome back to my Daz Studio tutorial series. So today we're going to take a request from one of my subscribers who commented in my last video that they would like to see how we can combine characters and make unique characters out of existing characters that you can get from Daz Studio. So I thought I would try and tackle this a little bit tonight. And I got to be honest with you, this has always troubled me. Um, when I've been making my com uh, comics or working on a picture, if I wanted to change something with my character by adding a different part of a new character to her, it was always problematic. Now, <clears throat> to get started, I have two characters here. I've got my Milica character on the left and a uh, other Daz character called Biliana on the right. Now, you can see that they look differently. They have different um, bodies. You know, one of the big indications is their belly button here. They also have a different face. And so you would think that with the content library, this shouldn't be difficult. If I go to my content library and I look at my Biliana character or I look at my Milica character, they both have a lot of tabs and options that you think would be pretty straightforward. So, for example, you know, with my uh, Milica character, I can do a lot of things like change her eyebrow color. I can um, add or remove her body, it says. I can add eyelashes. I can change her eye color. All of, the, all of this stuff is pretty straightforward. And, you know, if I wanted to change her eye color, I can easily do that with these tabs. I can give her perhaps some uh, blue eyes. I think she already has blue eyes, but I can give her blue eyes or I could give her brown eyes. You know, all of this stuff is, is really simple to do. It gets tricky when we start mixing and matching. And so a lot of times, and I do this too, when I just want my Milica character, she's my avatar, I use her for everything, I really like her, um, I can just scroll down to the bottom here, and because she is a character that I purchased from Daz Studio, when I uploaded her through the um, Daz Install Manager, when she was downloaded to my system she has this tab here and so when I click it it just loads everything for her it loads her body shape her morphs you know her face her body texture everything and so that's what I've done here is I've added I've just added her via this actor tab the same thing with Biliana See, um, I purchased Biliana from Daz Studio, so she also has this actor tab. Now, <clears throat> all of these other tabs that you think should work really are problematic, at least to me. Now, you know, I'm not an expert at this. I've been learning Daz Studio for 15, uh, 18 years. And I still, you know, have a lot of trouble with certain things. So if there is anyone watching this video that actually knows some good ways to use these tabs, please let me know because I have had honestly nothing but trouble with these. So, you know, the Biliana full apply, Biliana full remove. When I have my character set up, I can't just change, uh, for example, uh, Milica's face into Biliana's face by clicking these. It just doesn't work. Um, See, so we can try it here. I'm going to select Milica and let's go to Biliana and we will attempt to add her head. 
So let's see. There's our skin. Also, it's kind of um, a challenge to find what you're looking for. So what we're looking for is Biliana Head Apply. Now, logic would say that if I have my Milica character selected and I go to Biliana and I hit Head Apply, it should switch and move Biliana's face onto the Milica character. Unfortunately, that's not what happens. Uh, look, I can hit this and what I get is either nothing or I get a mutated freaky zoid kind of girl that just is awful. Now what is actually happening here? I mean, look at that. That is creepy. What's happening is we are blending the Biliana character with our Milica character. So we're getting this weird hybrid that we don't want. So let's undo that because that is not a good thing. So what we want to do is we want to have, for example, we want to have Biliana, uh, Biliana's face on Milica's body. And so if I mess with these tabs, I just haven't had any luck. So what we have to do to uh, create this unique character with a different body shape and a different face using different characters is we're going to uh, open up a new just Daz base character. So just go to your um, content library and you should find a Genesis 8 starter essential uh, tab. Just click on that and then scroll, I think it's almost to the bottom, and you're going to see Gen 8 Basic Female. I'm going to unselect my two characters and I'm going to add our Genesis 8 base character. And we're going to just compare our two girls to this base character. Okay, so I have my base character now. Whoops. And I'm going to move her kind of in between. Let's move her up so that she just kind of matches. So you can see this is just a base character. Um, now, what I can do with the base character is I can go back to um, Biliana. I can select uh, Biliana and then I can go to her head morph. So I'm just going to scroll up until I get to Biliana head apply. I'm going to take that with my new just base figure and I'm going to apply Biliana's face. So that's her face right there. Yay. Okay. Now you can see um, I can also scroll through here and add her textures. So this is her skin, Biliana's skin. Let's go ahead and add Biliana's skin. Okay. So you can see we've got Biliana's skin, but we still have that Gen 8 base body. So now I should be able to go to Milica and find Milica's body morph. Now, some characters do not have just a body morph. So, you, you know, it really it, it depends what you can do. It really depends on the character. So, there's her eyebrows. Okay, so see, she, Milica has a body morph. That should morph her body without morphing her head. So, when I click on the Gen 8 base character. Now I have Milica's body with Biliana's face. All right. And you just kind of have to, like I always say, play with this a little bit. Now, what's really cool is you can also... Go to your parameters tab 
and you can play with different um, features. So if I go to this actor tab in my parameters and I scroll down, I can begin to morph different things. So this is a little challenge because it's a long list, but if we scroll down, we will get to um, some features that we want to morph. Now remember, I can always go up here, like let's say I want to change her nose, I can type in nose, and it's going to give me all of these nose um, morphs. So if I, if I want to change her and change her nose, all right, uh, I can change her nose size, I can twist her nose, the nose width, so I can change that. I can move her nose side to side, I can change her septum. I've got to tell you, there are hundreds of dials that are available. So it says nose job, see we can, we can change her nose. We can, uh, for example, type in eyes. And I can get different eyes, eye size. See, I can make her eyes huge. I can shrink them down. I can change uh, the width of her eyes so they can go further apart or closer together. So I can really change uh, quite a few features this way to customize and make your own figure, which is pretty cool. Now, the same thing goes with the body. So, you know, if I type in, for example, abdomen, I'm going to get different abdomen shapes, sizes. So I can morph the body. I can, you know, give her a smaller waist size, or I can make her larger. I can make her pregnant. I can make her taller, shorter, all with these dials and parameter. Now, what's kind of cool, too, is if you have a lot of characters in your um, downloads, if you scroll down through this actor enough, you're going to actually get to uh, body morphs and head morphs. So see, like I can change this character into um, a different body shape. By like Sienna, I you know we can find uh, we can find Milica, and I can morph her body kind of back into Milica. Now the problem with this is you've got to be careful because um, what this does is it's going to blend your two morphs. So. You know, if I try and move like this Nulpy, if I try and move this, it's gonna change her body and see it's changing her face and everything. So we, you can mess around with this and it's pretty cool, but um, you know, you've, you've uh, gotta be careful. Otherwise you'll, you're gonna get a crazy looking alien character. And uh, you know, that is the trick. So this is at least how I morph things. And you know, once you have the skin texture from one character on another, then you can use their makeup and all that kind of thing and it won't look weird. So to give you an example of what these morphs will do in our actor tab of the parameters, um, this is a custom character that I am working on for a client and he wanted an Emma Stone, the actress Emma Stone lookalike. So by using the dials from a character that I thought kind of looked like her to start with, I created a likeness of Emma Stone. Um, you know, this is how those vendors make your characters that uh, you purchase. So uh, I'm going to render her up and let's look at what she uh, looks like when we have her finished.
Okay, so here is a rendered picture of my morphed character that I created. Uh, it has a resemblance to Emma Stone. I'm not the best um, character creator by any means, but you get the idea. So I really hope this helped you out. Let me know if you have any suggestions. I'd love to hear them. And happy rendering. Take care until next time. <laughs>